Imagine if you're a journalist. Your phone buzzes. 120 emails, all from this morning. It's early in the morning and you have one hour to clear out your inbox. But then your boss rushes in. Rocky, I need those four short form articles and a rough draft of your 500 word article by the end of the day. That's going to take all day. You now have 10 minutes to clean out your inbox. So what do you do? First, you scan the headlines. Junk mail, junk mail, junk mail. Bad headline, junk mail. Delete. And that took five minutes. Second, you quickly glance at all your emails that are still there and just start deleting. So emails to quickly delete are templated emails that are BCC'd with sentence fragments and bad formatting. Email blasts from PR companies that send a big blanketed email to their entire address book. Emails that don't even register with your beat. You don't cover mobile games, you're a PC game journalist. Delete, delete, delete. Finally, and this is the most painful one, is to indie developers who are sending cold emails with words like procedurally generated and retro graphics. Come on, really? That's your marketing message? Yeah, those emails, they, they get deleted too. Ugh. So when a journalist is buried under email, how exactly do you get them to pay attention? This video is all about advanced relationship building with the gaming press, from small game bloggers to streamers to YouTubers, whatever you need to get you attention. In other words, influencers. So let's jump right into it. The three components that you need to connect to influencers are organizing, connecting, and selling. Organizing. Having a list of contacts in an organized place allows you to contact them all at once when it's finally time to market. Connecting. Cold emails, which are emails that are out of the blue, quickly end up deleted. So in this video, we'll cover strategies to avoid that. Finally, there's selling. Giving your game away for free to influencers doesn't cost them money, it costs them time. So you do need to sell them on why they need to give you attention. If you want to get deeper in the organizing or selling parts, check out my other videos. But in this video, you'll discover how to connect. There are high-level courses and training that are weeks and months long that go much more into detail. I want to give you a high-level view of the concepts and in later videos we can go even deeper. So the goal of connecting is simply to get on their radar. In the previous stage of organizing, you already checked to see if the, your influencer is a right fit for you. So how do you get on an influencer's radar? The easiest method is to follow their work on Twitter. It's to like their tweets, retweet their content, engage with them. It's reading their articles, watching their videos, being on their live stream and leaving comments. It's engaging with their community and providing value to them. At a convention, it maybe is starting up a conversation and being genuinely interested in what they have to say. If they're a speaker at a conference, approach them and thank them for the talk. Ask to send a follow-up email to thank them again and let them know that you shared it with your game developer friends. Additionally, Connecting is not about spamming them and not about going, love your work, man, it's the best, over and over again. It's about being human, about building a real connection. It's, your article really nailed it home. I was talking to my friends about your work and how we do need to make an effort to build better games. I really appreciate what you said and taking the time to address the problem. The next challenge I frequently hear is, I have 500 email addresses on my list. I don't have time to personally connect with everyone. Just like in the organization component of connecting with influencers, you don't have to do it all at once. You don't even have to do all of them. In the process of organizing and connecting, you'll start to really see the people you love to hang out with and get to know. Maybe it's something small like 10 streamers, 5 game journalists, and 5 small gaming sites. Connecting with them builds a relationship that brings you into the door to other places. For example, myself, there's a lot of influencers that I absolutely love. This is something I do all the time. When I see something that really touches me, I send the author a genuine email of thanks and appreciation. And now, this isn't some secret strategy or anything. I truly love their work. And then they reply and they see some value in what they do and suddenly the world is a better place. And isn't that why we're here on this earth? Sometimes they reach out to me on my blogs, my articles, my content, which is insane. They're visiting my work. And the friends I make who are journalists, they tell their journalist friends about the projects I'm working on. They give me leads and connections to other game journalists and publications. And I do the same for them. And we all want our friends to succeed. And that is a true connection. Start there. Start with the thank yous. And while you're at it, thank you for watching. 
Thanks again for joining us in Bite Size, business education for indie game developers. Short, bite-sized videos that provide real-world marketing, strategy, and education to busy indie game developers. No fluff, no ads, no need to donate. A special thanks to Capital City Television and their staff. This episode is sponsored by Serious Game Devs Only, the community to empower serious game developers like you with business education. So it becomes second nature, letting you focus on making a living with game development and building great games that people want to play.